Ladies and gentlemen, Junior here from Comics Remix, and I'm here with the lovely Ivy Doom Kitty. Ivy, how you doing today? I'm doing great, and you? Um, I'm great now. How's uh, how's the city been so far to you? It's been awesome. This is my, uh, I want to say, one, two, three, fourth time in Chicago, and I mean, it's, I love it. It's definitely one of my favorite cities to visit in the U.S. Yeah, and we were just talking about getting lunch a few minutes ago. Yes, you guys have amazing food. Uh, Giordano's, uh, that Beaker's Pizza is just watering good um there's the the hot dogs that i'm looking forward to having today or tomorrow we'll see i'm, I'm telling you tomorrow i got it tomorrow that's it <laughs> i promise so um, yeah like the food food is what do they say you know how way to a man's heart is through his stomach that's what i hear same deal for me too like food is definitely what speaks to me i love food you know you don't hear a lot of women say that that is true food is for me that is true hey i like food i like to eat <laughs> so, all right, getting into it, what, how and why did you first decide to get into cosplay? Uh, well, I started, it'll be three years ago, this uh, San Diego Comic Con in July. And uh, it was something I always wanted to do. Uh, I've been going to cons for about 10 years. And, you know, every time I went to a show, I, I would see people in costumes. Like, oh, my God, this is so awesome. You know, holy crap, that's Storm or that's Mystique from... The X Men cartoons, because I grew up, you know, watching all the cartoons, playing, you know, my Super Nintendo, and it was always something I wanted to do. It was, but unfortunately, I, I didn't because I was uh, afraid of like just being made fun of or being called names uh, because of uh, the way I look, you know, for my body type, because I didn't feel like I wasn't the, you know, like the, just the cookie cutter body type of gen that is generally accepted. So I didn't want to have to go through being made fun of, and that's why I didn't do it. Uh, then, you know, three years, uh, three years, yeah, three years ago, I finally decided, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to have fun with it. And, you know, I don't care if anyone's going to say anything negative. I'm just going to do it for me. Yeah. And I did, and I had so much fun. I, I had so much fun. Uh, I made my Star Trek red shirt, uh, was my very first costume I made, walked the floor, had a bunch of, like, just really positive experiences with, uh, people that were fans of the original series and it was just nice striking up those conversations and uh, after that I said you know what I'm gonna go ahead and make more costumes so I made a black hat I made a Ms. Marvel I made a Psylocke you know I went through my list of all the different characters that I had grown up loving from either comics gaming things like that and just started going haywire making costume after costume so yeah it's been fun now a lot of cosplayers make the transition excuse me in the modeling, do you feel that there's a difference? And if so, what is it? Um, yeah, I would say there, there is a difference. Uh, you know, cosplay is costume play. You know, you are making, in essence, you're doing it for fun. You're making costumes for fun. Um, I mean, modeling does kind of fall into that when you start bringing in, like, photo shoots into that and doing your, like, prints, for example, because at that point now you are modeling that costume. Uh, so, I mean, it... it, it a slight difference, but not but all at the same time, not that much. Um, before cosplay, I actually did start doing a boudoir modeling, boudoir and pinup modeling prior to actually wearing that first costume. Uh, and for me, it was kind of one of those things that I wanted to do because one, I just I like the aesthetic of pinup uh, photography uh, as well as boudoir photography. You know, I, I find that it's 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 done well. It can be very classy, but that the, at the same time. Uh, you know, and I just like a lot of like, like you know, like just classic pinup art. You know, like Elfgren uh, and you know Betty Page, of course, modeling. Uh, so you know, for me, like that's essentially what I started to doing, just kind of to get my feet wet and figure out how to like do posing and things like that. Mm -hmm. And then after that is when I actually started to you know make costumes and do cosplay. Uh, it's funny because not a lot of people know that 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 I actually was doing boudoir and pinup modeling well before this uh, <laughs> but you know it, it, it's tons of fun and you know I do see models like like just straight models go into cosplay you know like they try it out you know and see if they like it and you know I say you know as long as you're having fun and you're doing it for you you know that's the most important thing um, but yeah, I'd say they more or less fall around the same thing a little bit like more or less Depend, like once you start doing the photos. Yeah. Now, uh, this 
genre, this world of pop culture and comics, it's more, you know, superhero males are more at the front line than the females. Case in point, how Gamora wasn't advertised with Guardian stuff and Black Widow's not being advertised for Avengers. Why do you think it is that in cosplay, the females are the more prominent role if the males are more known as characters? Uh, definitely the males are more known as characters uh, in comics and in the movies. Uh, now with cosplay, I feel that it is one of those things where it, it's like sex sells in essence, okay. you know, um, unfortunately. Um, and, you know, but at the same token, for example, like for me, I'll do costumes that are fully covered, like my bison. From head to toe, completely covered. There's nothing that's showing except the skin on my face and my hands. And that's it. Um, oddly enough, the comics that I get on that, even though it's fully covered, is, wow, that is really sexy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so it's like, ah, there's no escaping. It's a lot better than Raul Julia. <laughs> there's no escaping, uh, you know, a comment like that. And I'm not saying that it's a bad comment, but, you know, I just, I feel like, you know, when I'm walking the top floor, yeah, the majority of people that you see in cosplay are usually women. The ones that are usually getting attention are usually women. Um, also, the way women are drawn in comics tend to have more revealing costumes. Yeah. Um, so when we make a costume, if it's revealing, it'll also be that same way as well when we're translating it. Um, you know, so, yeah, I, I think it's just like a gender thing. Um, I, I personally, I... I did create a panel called um, Ivy Doom Kitty Presents the Men of Cosplay. Okay. And I take it around to different cons that I'm a guest at, and I like to showcase the men in the, that local community. Uh, because, you know, the men don't get enough love. Right. You know, they definitely need more love. They're equally, if not more so talented than the most talented women that I've seen um, in the cosplay community. They do some phenomenal work, and, you know, it's we need to get them out there more. You know, let's get them out there. They do amazing work, and yeah. <laughs> so trial by error. As a cosplayer, what's one of the most difficult things you've had to learn? Um, one of the most difficult things I had to learn: be okay with making mistakes, and realize that I'm not going to be perfect at everything I do. Um. I, I can be a perfectionist with certain things. So for me, um, I've had to learn over time because of my schedule and because I get so busy. I'm not going to be able to get everything done when I want to, to be done. Um, case in point, I've been traveling to show. This is my fifth show, oh, fifth show in a row okay. that I've done. Uh, so I haven't been able to create anything new that I would like to because my schedule's been like boom, 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 boom. But, uh, and it's the most frustrating thing, because for me, when I first started cosplaying, I was accustomed to new costume every show. Right, right. Now, it, it doesn't work that way. Uh, <laughs> you get known for having a different take on certain things. Well, it, it's just the time. I just don't have time to make anything new, because my schedules are so insane. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's just trying to balance out that frustration of wanting to create, because I love creating, and time. Mm -hmm. Just being able to balance those two things out. So I'm a little slower now on the things that I make because I just don't have time. But, you know, I make it a point to make sure that they're, you know, they're, they need to always be fun costumes, costumes I feel passionate about. And For those discovering cosplay or just entering it, what advice would you give them? Have fun. Do it for you and because you enjoy the character. Uh, it's okay to make mistakes. It'll happen. Uh, just realize that it's a learning experience and that you can always improve upon anything that you do. Uh, and uh, never be afraid to ask other people for advice. You know, the community is huge. The community is definitely very open and accepting towards others. Uh, so, you know, don't be afraid to ask for help or, you know, check out resources online. Um, and never be afraid to be in your own skin. Love yourself for who you are. Like you should be a motivational speaker. So, last question: uh, What is something about you that fans won't find out on social media? Um, my real name. Touche. 
which I can't say. Well, I wouldn't expect you to. I, I will collapse into a puddle onto the ground, and I will be forever gone from this world. Well, if that ever happened, you left behind a great uh, stack of work here. So, <laughs> not saying that we're not going to miss you because we will, but. But uh, thank you so much for this time, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your stay in the city for this weekend. Thank you. Likewise. And, you know, you got, well, I'm from Chicago, but. Skyline, you didn't notice? No. Now I can find a full court. Yeah. Well, all right. You still got to hop out with the mouth, huh? <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.